Love, light, greetings, gratitude, blessings and blessings. Beautiful, bountiful Ascension Star Family. My divinity to yours. Welcome to the beautiful reading that we'll be having on Ganesh. Many of you have asked when I did the Goddess Lakshmi reading. Of course, she works closely with Ganesh. Ganesh adores her. And of course, your comment was, of course, let's do a reading being the 7th of September, today Ganesh is celebrated worldwide as a great, grand and gorgeous divinity, deity, being of light like the Christed energy of our Jesus and other masters in the higher realms throughout the world. He is praised today. Of course, whenever you read um, about him or you get to know him know that you are prompted to work with him and not specifically on this day so if the reading finds you or you find it then of course Ganesh is happy to work with you know that there is nothing to do with religion or your cultural background divinities deities beings of light are not operating on separation division instead on unity diversity and multiversity so our beautiful Ganesh before I begin I want to show you how he has impacted in my life I've never um, taken a lot of note uh, when it comes to observing him connecting with him from little not at all it is in my much later years taking on the very spiritual path that Ganesh has been imprinting himself in my life. He makes appearances in my food, in my drink. If I take my towel to the uh, bathroom and I leave it, place it down, then suddenly I'll see his image forming. He has dominated my life in so many ways, in my cooking, in my craft. I see him, um, if I hang washing on the line, I see his imprint on my washing. It is amazing how he is all over the place. And I want to show you a few crystals that he has manifested in. And of course, there are much larger ones that I cannot bring to the camera right now. But I want to show you, and I do hope that you get to see the outline of him. Well, that's his beautiful um, image in front as one of the impressions he comes up in many. So if you look, there's his ears, his crown, his trunk and if I turn it you see the imprints of his eyes but different lighting gives off a different vibration so I am placing him here for us today let's see if we can get him right there we go and of course there's another one right you see his trunk is forming there's an eye there's a ear there's another eye and of course he seems to be just the, the facial features but very much on a stable solid platform of energy that he comes through right and we have one here here we can see very clearly how the trunk is so defined we've got the ear we've got his eye we've got another eye that shows up here actually right and of course the crown and a bit of his ear so very very beautiful and perhaps you can see more images um, that you may come across as well right let's try and get him there we go and we have the that's all rose quartz by the way this is the clear one the milky quartz so we see him there's the, the crown, we see part of the face, the trunk, We ha um, sorry, the division of the um, body and the face, and then we see the trunk in front. There's a bit of an eye that I see here, and of course one that seems to be somewhere on that side, but um, he's sort of sitting in this kind of position, right? That's lovely, because this is part of the body extension. So yes, let's um, put him up here. Can you see that? Right, so I'm going to read 
um, a little bit about him and share with you what um, is coming through. So you understand Ganesh. He's also called Ganesha in some um, writings. He is an elephant-headed deity, divinity, and is known to remove obstacles for anyone, for just about anything that you can ask for help for. He is um, a divinity that helps you with prosperity and also wisdom because he's very um, connected to the archives of divine wisdom. You will find him with a book of knowledge. Um, he can help anyone um, that is working on a project or an assignment, um, artistic or not, uh, journaling, um, you know, if you're writing your own book and of course want to tap into your inner wisdom or divine wisdom, he can help you with that as well. And in most of um, the uh, teachings that come, will come through the channel, like other divinities and deities will also come through the channel of Ganesh being part of the vibration of that energy of writing, scripting, poetry, journaling, um, orating, um, anything to do with wanting to connect with higher knowledge. He's very much a Hindu or Indian deity that is um, predominantly and um, revered in the uh, cultures of Hinduism and the Far East but of course his energy is prevalent throughout the world because a lot of other cultures are learning like Lakshmi are learning about his abilities that they have not known him to um, to help so effortlessly and easily so he is usually the first divinity that is contacted um, at the start of a prayer or an intention or affirmation um, or visualization because he is known to be the principal clearer and remover of obstacles and difficulties and challenges and whatever might smog or fog your path. He helps to clear that way, open up that door and allow whatever needs to go ahead to go ahead easily, smoothly, fluently, transparently, and of course, um, righteously, reverently. He's a very loving, sweet, polite, and gentle divine being, although he looks um, um, as if he has this, uh, you know, the fierceness of an, an animal. No, he's not. He's big, bold and strong and brave and courageous, but he's incredibly timid and gentle. And of course, he's large enough to blaze the trails ahead of you so that your path is clear. He can fill your life with the sweetness of nectar um, just by invoking him to bring you that joy and peace and encouragement and through your challenges and your rowdiness and the noise and the irritability, he can help comfort you like a big teddy bear and of course do not fear his strength because it will not work against you but it works to clear away the enemies the difficulties he is very analogous to archangel michael that his um energy is is loving and more a loyal and gentle protective force known as the remover of obstacles he will help you to mow down your blocks that stand in your path and, of course, um, trample away the bushes to clear your path and allow you to move freely on your trail by helping you, guiding you and um, allowing you to feel that protection as he leads the way um, for you into the clearing from the forest, from the jungle of difficulty. And a lot of people do invoke him um, by having a little um, symbol of him like this one or smaller. And of course, perhaps a picture of him as well in their luggage or baggage when they need to get through their travel. Um, so they're not delayed at airports. 
um, even in your vehicle to help you go through traffic easily. Um, he's sort of like a very um, uh, personal assistant, security personnel that helps you to get through without challenges. And Ganesh comes immediately. There's no hype about setting up this magnificence to bring him in. It's just your pure thought and intent. And he comes through almost immediately if you call him. And of course, even on a telephone, if you want to make a call and you're battling to get through to somebody, ask Ganesh to clear the airways, the pathways, the lines of communication. Even if you're having a conversation with somebody and you know that it's going to be a difficult one, ask him to go before and allow all parties to listen to the message and understand it clearly. He's excellent with all of that. So a very simple invocation of Ganesh is to say, and he says as well, that to be with me, I see all obstacles as insurmountable. In fact, I don't see obstacles at all. And that's his point. He says, all barriers in your path are self-imposed. They represent your decision to be afraid for moving forward. Cast your fear all outward by projecting thoughts into the future that bring you the positive results. So see it as if it is past, it is manifest, it is real and authentic. Wow, that's a massive truck going down and it's like that his power that's clearing your road and your path and saying, trust me, I'm the driver here and you are with me riding this um, along this journey. He says, do not worry about the boogeyman's and the blocks and the uh, parts of yours that seem to be um, having the walls in front of you trust that we can get through anything together and ask me to assist you and I will puncture the balloons of all dark illusions even if you've managed to manifest the worst case scenario call upon me to heal and to guide you and all thought forms are on a level playing field and no matter how dire the appearance may seem they will all equally dissolve and become insurmountable. I plough through them quite easily and unwavering with good faith and all goodness. That's the power that really exists. Your strength, your courage, your bravery, your diligence, your vigilance, your commitment let them go and know that the truth of all situations, that there is always love that will prevail. So Ganesh helps with abundance, with artistic projects, with household, domestic, relationship, peace and harmony, removing and avoiding all kinds of obstacles, with wisdom, righteousness, divinity, Christed energy, protection, safety, and all kinds of writing and communication. And your invocation can be that holding a vision of him in your mind or an actual picture of him or a little um, uh, figurine of him is to say, beloved Ganesh, thank you for clearing my path, for smoothing it today, with harmony and peacefulness, reigning supreme. I appreciate you walking before me to clear the obstructions and to, for anything that could impede my progress and to help me with blessings, to see me through everything today. I thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, I have his card, which is from my Ascended Masters deck. It is a yes. So whatever your question is or your assistance is that you might need his help, the answer is yes. 
So I want to read out the full message for you. It says, all the doorways are open for you and the pathway is clear. Any previous obstacles have been removed. Keep a positive mindset about the situation to ensure the best possible outcome. The answer to your question is yes. It is a good time to move or make a change. Your prayers have been heard and answered. You have positive support for this situation. Keep up your faith. So beautiful ones. This is, is a reading on Ganesh in a very summarised way but intended to be beautiful and cosmic and know that he has these large enough ears for you to hear divine wisdom. He has these beautiful big eyes so that you can see your way ahead. He has an incredible trunk to clear your path to forge new footprints and he has the ability of his great big head to bring in the consciousness of Supreme Divine and the ability with his multifaceted arms to be able to help you in your writing, in igniting and your poetic stances. And with that, I love you, bless you, thank you, till next.